do you struggle to make friends? Does your effort go in vain no matter how hard you try? Some people might think afterwards that they are cursed or being despised, while others might seek medical advice and pay huge sums of money just to be told that they are fine and nothing is wrong with them. If you have been through this or worst, chances are that you were born to be a loner. Sometimes people think that a loner is someone that is shy, suffering from social anxiety, primitive, an outcast, or someone that has been rejected by the society. This is not true. This kind of mindset is toxic and discriminatory. People have their reasons for choosing to live a solitary lifestyle. Not everybody that isolates themselves from the public has a problem or is suffering from some sort of disease. Introverts are not the only set of people choosing a life of solitude. Extroverts are increasingly choosing this lifestyle because burnouts resulting from their supercharged lifestyle are nasty and exhausting. While some negative connotations have been attributed to the term loner, being a loner does not in any way make you bad. In fact, most loners are more likely to be very intelligent and productive people compared to their outgoing counterparts. The following signs prove that you were born to be a loner. 1. You're a very private person. Loners are private people. They cherish privacy and expect everyone to do same. If you are someone who likes to keep to themselves and love to mind only their business, chances are that you are a loner. Always planning and working underground. 2. You like to roll up your sleeves and do it by yourself. You are a loner if you are a believer of the saying, if you want it done better, do it yourself. Loners are visionaries and most people can't interpret or bring to life most of their ideas the way they want. Also because their designs are often complicated, words alone are not enough to describe what is in their heads. 3. You aren't glued to your smartphone. If you are the kind of person that remembers they have a phone only when it rings or when they want to use it, then definitely you are a loner. Loners don't pay too much attention to their phones because they are always busy. They don't have the luxury of time like most people to scroll endlessly on social media. They are the only set of people who use their smartphones as tools rather than being enslaved by them. 4. You're happiest alone. You are most peaceful and happiest when you are alone be it at home, in a coffee shop, or in a foreign land. When you are alone your mind soars freely like the eagle in the sky. 5. Drama is not your thing. While some people go out of their way to create drama, you despise drama and drama queens. You stand clear of all forms of drama. You do this because you don't want strangers meddling in your own business. 6. You're out of reach for long periods of time. It is no longer strange to your family and friends that you can go for months and even years without talking to them. Everyone around you knows that the fastest way to get to you is by calling and not via text message. You hardly call or text people, but you think of them all the time. 7. You don't like being in someone's debt. You don't like to owe people, and you hate to ask for help as well. Even though no one can be an island, you try as much as possible to be one by keeping to yourself, avoiding debts, and letting people owe you. You don't like to show any signs of weakness or vulnerabilities that could be exploited or taken advantage of by greedy people. 8. You prefer to work as a freelancer. Professional-wise, all owners prefer to work for themselves. They like their autonomy and freedom so much that they hate working for people. Freelancing gives you the opportunity to be at many places at once, doing what you want, the way you want it without any interruption from hierarchy. Type more in the comments section if you want to watch more videos like this on social psychology. Like, subscribe, and watch this video that just popped up on your screen.